How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Blue Shifting, and welcome back to Mobile Monday and the day after. All right, so uh, things got exciting last time. We had, you know, a beta invasion kicking off. We had a refugee camp that at first was refusing to flee because they just felt like there was no point. And we kind of had to dramatically and emotionally convince them that beta death is not really an ideal alternative to being ostracized it's not great but like it's still like don't die um then we go to the front and we're fighting them off and we're doing everything we can and we uh get to meet a giant super worm that brings all the fortresses and all the other good stuff it showed up on the battlefield and we're like oh gosh we're all gonna die and then the japanese navy the the caravan that's coming from hawaii the advanced ships the big blasters the big the ones with the giant cannon showed up and they drove off that worm but as the first worm started to re retreat a second worm has showed up and they've confirmed it has lasers in it which is pretty much the worst thing that could happen <laughs> so yeah we are we're gonna see how this all plays out it's real scary right now so uh let's see how this happens um i think we're gonna probably get to the end of this fight this episode um, and then I'm guessing we'll probably stop there, depending on how long it takes. But I'm guessing we've got a good amount of fight left. And then probably, uh, I'm, I'm guessing this feels like the penultimate ultimate climax. So I'm guessing we're getting close to the end of this episode. So yeah, let's jump in and see how this all plays out. So <sighs> let's get ready to go. All right, so we're retreating temporarily, and they're gonna prepare for the un the like the arrival of the new worm. We're also like, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's right, the S elevens. Um, the plan is to kind of circumvent the bureaucracy and attempt to get a TSF with a essentially a package small nuclear device into the worm when it arrives and detonate it. And I'm really scared that Marimo's gonna do that. All right, so, please, I hope I'm wrong, because if she goes down in this episode, I'm gonna be super depressed because I want her around for the whole stinking thing, dang it. Okay, let's go. So, go, Port Royce Kitchen, the American gun has destroyed the S-11. The gun has been destroyed, and the gun has been destroyed. Yeah. あの番台アタックの。Yep. <laughs> There's probably only a handful of people who would accept this plan without a second thought. Yeah, the S-11s are designed in a way that you can plant them as a bomb and escape. But they're also designed specifically to make it so that if you can't escape, you can still detonate them. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, right. There's no way it's going to be that easy. Seems like lying is second nature to me these days. Yuzuka, Ellen, Miono. I'm gonna get them all killed. The people I'm duty bound to protect. それから笑ってください。口を紐地にして重苦しく語れば未来が開けるわけじゃありません。なら笑顔でいませんか？少なくとも、そうしているだけで。Right. Lieutenant Ellen Ice. Watashi LAS wa Kanada jin desu. Kantaki ni eba bomei sha desu ne. Hmm. I 
forgot you said that. Lieutenant Miyano Suzuki. I remember that. <laughs> For you. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Yuzuka. Marusan, Yokai, this one. Kido Koka to Najuna Mono de Show. Tais that to Nile. That's true, actually. These types of missions have about the same survival rate. <laughs> She's so terrified, though. Guys. <laughs> Thank you. お前らなんか勘違いしてねえか。別に緊張するような作戦じゃねえぞ。はい。分かってます。ちょっとベータ軍に入って爆弾を置いてくるだけの簡単なお仕事でしょ。Easy <laughs> <sighs> I don't deserve them. Ah,そういうことだ。それじゃ、サクッと受け取りに行くか。Oh, <laughs> oh, the laugh of of the insane. <laughs> Not the insane, but the like you gotta laugh because there's nothing else you can do. I owe you one, Major Jinguji. Like, you couldn't have given me more kick butt subordinates. It's really laying the sauce thick. I think if, I, I'm pretty sure we can count that someone's dying, because oh my gosh. Hold on. This ain't right. There's something wrong with my orders. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She definitely talked about this before. Right. And the Major said she wouldn't let anyone who reached Seattle after such a long struggle die, which includes us. Uh-oh. Yeah, see, I think he's figured it out. Yuzuka! Uh, hi! Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Something seriously wrong here. I don't want to think she'd do this, but. Push back 20 kilometers. Does she already have an S11? Like, what if she somehow has one already? This would be the perfect way for her to just get everyone out of the way so she could deploy it. Oh, 
線を下げすぎなんですよ。神宮寺少佐。Crap. I. She must still have it somehow. 第二中隊の交代は第一中隊の後だ。シンガルは私が務める。各機油断することなく交代せよ。了解。すまない。すまない。There it is. Oh gosh, it's the worm of death. It's got lasers in it. Crane two or group lead. Jingu Jisho, sir, Tetai Kano des. Yo Yako de Mashka. Do Bereba ino nina. Daku as a set of Moranaika. She really must have one. Maidu. Oh boy. Oh, fetch what? Oh, they're more brewing. Oh, you got to expedite out of there. This is why you don't even take suicide missions alone. Yeah, yeah. So good he got back. He's like, yeah. I figured out your plan, you idiot. Bingo. Bingo. S11 であのでかいのをぶっ潰す I can only let you take all the glory and just kill yourself Yeah, I'm not the only one who needs to work on their poker face, alright そうですよね、少佐 S11 でも装備してなきゃあそこまで味方を交代させることはしないですよね Her orders would make zero sense otherwise 少佐は肝心なところで抜けてますね意地の悪い上官に鍛えられてますんでそのくらいは読めるようになったんですよ you can't fool me. I've learned. Dang, I barely had any propellant remaining. If I screw this up, this is going to be a one-way ticket for me. There's a good chance it will be anyway. Love that line. Yeah! <laughs> what, a, what a punk. There we go. Oh my gosh. Where are the lasers? Where are they? Don't F with the surface pilot. Out of my way. Here we go. Into the belly of the beast. Oh man, that's an interesting veal that order, but yes, sir. Fired will. Yeah, heck yeah. 
The Navy's cleared the way for us. Let's go. Tatsunami, speed up. Let's go. Counter attack is not going to be too much trouble. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Pistols. What happened? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't like that that's a question. There she is. No man, don't count him out. <laughs> All these stupid people call people stupid, you stupid idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you vulture. <laughs> oh my gosh. He might be horrifically radiated. Hawk, oh, thank goodness. You should all be freaking thrilled. He's gonna be so famous after this. Oh my gosh. Guaranteed Japan's getting those S11s though. After this. <laughs> it's like, all right, everyone needs to have these things ready because that would have been horrific. <laughs> あの、でかくて頑丈なのが口を閉じてくれたおかげで助かりましたよ。ああ、グッドポイント。おお、ダラシプライ<笑><笑> <laughs> Wasn't exaggerating. I really did see my life flash before my eyes. Quite literally. Baka, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make sure my boy doesn't do anything stupid. <laughs> Please actually be right and have this be over right now. Cut her real close, but somehow we survived again. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, 
度でもぶっ殺してやるぜ But still, just why was Major Jinguji's TSF equipped with the Dust 11? That's gonna have serious consequences down the line, isn't it? I mean, it's a violation of our agreement with the US, and that's not even what's bothering me the most. Yeah, what's bothering me is that it's like she was planning this from the beginning. That, like, she, like, feels like somehow, like, she has to martyr herself, which is really, really dangerous thinking. There's just no way. What the heck am I even thinking? Oh, she did! She totally did! Yeah, yeah! Yeah, you guys are something else. Anyway, the Major couldn't have been, I don't know, planning on dying? No, not the Major Junguji I know. You gotta have a talk with her about that, though, my boy. Oi, Honto Nanako! Oh, my Nanka Kitanako! She done it! Shows at a Hanas timing of a Naka Tandayo. Hmm. That's Hey, girls. I should find a place next to Ellen, or this guy's gonna keep badgering me the whole time. Is Yui coming? Oh! That'd be such a cool capstone to this! Oh my gosh, it is! This is gonna be our first time in Ultimate, an, an unlimited world line that we're gonna see her. The crowd's massive. Now this is some real star power. Put her on your shoulders, Ibiki. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at her. Woo! Gosh, she and Maya, real headbutting contenders for best girl, easy. Oh, I don't even, I'm not even sure I could pick one, honestly. Her path in uh, Altered Fable was beautiful. She is. That's why she can move the hearts of the people. Now that Her Highness is here, things in Seattle should settle down. Hmm. But I wonder... Is it really her, or could it be, like, Maya? Like, I don't... Think Maya still around? I'm guessing, but it, she could be. I don't know. She looks fantastic, though. So this is what they were talking about. I have this sudden horrific feeling that something terrible is about to happen. Please be, make me be wrong. No. Oh. Just because Her Highness has come to Seattle doesn't mean the food crisis is a thing of the past. Nothing has changed from before the protest started. No, this is where our real battle begins. And you could say we played our strongest card, the Grand Imperial Shogun, right at the start. So yeah, we can't afford the rest on our laurels. This is only the beginning. We're still at war against the French and Canada, and the responsibility of the United States, and straight that the city remains a powder keg and the beta are still out there. No one can build a future for themselves by living off the past glories. Listen to music. We'll have to get our hands dirty, dig up the soil, and plant seeds with new tomorrow. And we gotta plant plenty of them. Not just enough for us, but enough to share our harvest with our friends and our rivals. Can we pull that off? I have no idea. 
But I know I can't give up without trying. That's nothing short of a moral duty. So we can live another day. So we can survive in the days to come. We must carry on and continue to fight. Carry on! That's what this is, isn't it? Oh. Woo! Freaking awesome. Amazing job, guys. Great translation, wonderful game. I know it had a roughy, well, roughy, a rough launch, but I, I, I didn't have any issues with this besides the whole headphone thing, but you know, we got that figured out. And especially thanks to Evan Ward, so he was used to be a localizer, but uh, he got removed from the team for creative differences, which is really sad, because I like that guy. He, he did a great job on the first, on, on like Extra and Limited and Alternative. The fan, freaking tastic. Good music as always. Now, obviously, this isn't the end. Um, I bundled all of these together. So, like, I'm going to make it a whole series through. So, this is essentially end of part one, episode one. So, we're going to be starting episode two next week. Um, so, like, like, like the number sequencing isn't going to change. It feels like an ending. Just keep that in mind. Like, I'm going to run straight through them back to back as a complete series. That way, it also helps prevent people from accidentally jumping into episode one or two thinking it's the beginning of a series um just because it makes more sense to have them all put together like that but they were obviously released like almost episodically which is why it's broken down like this at all uh so we're kind of lucky when the localization comes out that we don't have to wait for each episode to come out every like a year or a couple of years apart we get to have them all right together so yeah real exciting to be able to do this <sighs> That ending was intense, man. Holy cow. But I wonder if we're going to be able to do much interaction with Yui in the future. Like, do we get to, like, see a whole lot of her? Because, like, that's the other thing is, like, in unlimited timelines, we never got to see, like, what kind of a leader she really was, you know? Even in Alternative, like, we only got to have that one little meeting with her. So it'd be really interesting to see Yui in this world, in this world line. Because we really got to get to know her best in Altered Fable. Which again, I'm really glad I took her route in that, honestly. I did the Maya route later, it is fantastic, but I think the Yui route is actually, in Altered Fable story-wise, the Yui route is much better, it's much, much better applied um, than the Maya route, sadly. But Maya still, God, love that character. Love Maya the character, love Yui the character. It's ironic that the twins, I have a tough time deciding which of the two I like more because they're both really good, really good characters. But Maya might have the edge for a couple reasons, but it's, it's a slight edge. And if you ask me tomorrow and I'll probably tell you it's Yui. <sighs> Now, I guarantee you there's going to be some kind of after credit scene, so that's what we're waiting for. But overall, fantastic, by the way. Like, this whole ride and, like, the foreshadowing and the writing is just so on point. So, a very worthy addition. Sometimes you, like, think you can feel like a series can get overbloated when it has so much content that's made about its core. But, like, I have yet to see any real bloat. The, the closest thing might be some of the side stories, like... The one with the the guy who like thought he was a ladies man. Oh gosh, I can't remember that one. The one where he was like cyborg. He was like a cyborg. Um, like that one was a little bloaty, but even then, it was still a really cool story. But yeah, thank you to everybody who was a part of this. Um, you know, that made it possible and lets me like make this content. I doubt any of you are watching too closely, but thank you for anyone who does do that. I'm really looking forward to seeing the episode two start next week. God, oh, that jamming music. All right. Let's see if there's any Easter eggs at the end, and if not, we'll be at the at the end of this. Nippon Teikoku, Seiyi Taishogun, Kobu In Yuhi de gozaimasu. Yeah, that sounds like Maya. That doesn't sound like the voice actor for Yui. Am I am I wrong about that? That sounded more like Maya. 
また生き残ってしまったか。The fans are us. 殿下がシアトル。That's a fun teaser. Oh my gosh. Man, m o v e Love, especially this, like the day after, is like. When it comes to. They're like on Marvel levels of teasers. Oh, there we go. Woo! Episode one is done. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm excited to start the next one. So it actually turned out to be a bit of a shorter episode. Not too bad, though. I mean, I think I had enough excitement for all of us, so. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this ride as a whole together. What do you think about the, the teasers? But no spoilers. Remember, if you know what comes next, uh, keep that all to yourself. But yeah, that was really well done, really well executed. Whew, I was really sweating at the end, though. I thought someone was going to die. So I'm kind of glad I was wrong. Because I was. I, I'm glad. I, I kind of got the feeling that, that Marimo was preparing to do so. But I really like how Hibiki caught that and like went back and was like, no, you don't. You're not doing that. And it's a good thing he went back too, because if she had gone in by herself, she would have been taken, she would have died, and the beta would have won. So it's really good that they prevented her from making that horrible mistake. Because that would have been a terrible, terrible mistake if she'd really tried to do it by herself, like she was originally going to. Hopefully they can help get to her and help her figure things out, because she's obviously like. She's obviously struggling up here because she feels like she's gone so far that she, like, that she should throw her life away, and that's not good at all. It's really kind of depressingly sad, actually. But yeah, thank you guys so much for being part of this journey. Thank you to the to patrons who, of course, are making this journey smooth and, and easy to, to, to go through and like, making it wonderful in every way. Thank you also to just anyone who's viewing, watching, leaving comments and stuff. It just means the world to me. I hope you guys have been enjoying it as much as I have. It's been a joy to be able to make this content and, you know, to kind of showcase it on the channel. Yeah, I'm really interested to see how this all plays out and, you know, what the what the finer details are going to be with, like, the situation in Seattle. And, like, I'm guessing in future parts we're going to see a lot more conflict with France and Canada because so far it's been kind of, like, a looming threat. And I'm guessing it's going to be a lot more, like, front and center in the near future. So, yeah. It's easy when you have a foe like the beta just to be able to be like, yeah, kill them all, kill them all. But when it's going to be humans, like, it's going to get a lot, a lot more complicated really quickly so yeah i'll have to see how that all plays out but hey that'll have to wait till next week so thank you guys so much for being here thank you so much for joining me on the channel and until the next video watching me i've been seeing me in next i'll see you there